Alright guys, this is the huge project I've been working on. So here it is, it's Granny's house made out of Lego. And we're just gonna do a little quick tour of it. So here we're gonna start with the basement. Take this little area out so we can get a little bit better view. You know, you can look in the inside, you know. And then there's the little code right there. A little part to open up the door. And then here's where there's supposed to be like the tunnels and stuff. And then here's this little um, door almost where you can knock over so you can uh, get Granny to come downstairs with you. Here are little crates covering the other hole. And here's just like a little bench I made. And the stairs. So that was just built on a 16 by 16. Now we have here is the garage where we have the door and I use some brick brick pieces for the garage door and we have some stairs coming up and this was built on a 16 by 16 as well so just gonna move those aside alright so this basically took out the whole 48 by 48 base plate it actually worked out just perfectly all right, so we're gonna start up the top. All right, here we are. So we're gonna start over here where we have a little crib with a teddy bear in it. And it spawns Slenderina. And then we can walk over here. And then here's almost like the little jail cell where you can get um, one of the cogwheel carts. Let's see, and then some cobwebs. And then here's the camera, which you can destroy with the hammer. Have the hammer to destroy these little planks, and then you need to place them over this little, um, almost like a booby trap. And that you can actually see, all right. you can see all the way downstairs, and then there's the door down there, there's a little sneak peek, and then you can see the little stairs. All right, and then here we have like a little dummy almost. And then we have a little place you can hide in away from Granny. And then we can take this off. And then I don't know if I can put the camera in there, but yeah, you can see that. You can also take off the top. It just comes off and on. And then there is a little place where you can drop down, kind of juke out Granny. You know what I'm saying? There's the stairs that go up. Pretty creepy. So that's basically the whole um, uh, top floor. We're gonna actually just take these off. That's how it works. And here is one of the other rooms if you wanna focus for me. There we go. The lighting is kinda bad, but here we have the whole, pretty much the whole middle floor. There's a little bed, a little table as well. Take this off. And then boom, got a little granny right there. Just move that to the side. As you can see, I like my uh, technique is just to use a ton of tiles and then little studs to um, keep it intact. So, here we have the spawning room. There we go. Here's a little place you can hide in. You can also hide under the bed as well. And you can knock over that little table. And then here we come into the main room. We can go to the right, then we have the bathroom. We have a little chest you can hide in. And we got a bathtub, we got a toilet, we got this um, mirror that is uh, very worn down. And come over here, got a little shelf, another bed, lots of visitors in this uh, hell hole I guess you could say. And we got our main character, just uh, trying to find his way out of this place. And then boom boom, we come over here and then upstairs. Oh yeah, before I take these off, I built these little um, doors you can just like peek in. I thought was a nice add-on 
to this mock. Flip that one out. Yeah, and you can get some uh, cool views in here. Uh, you can just slide it back in, put it on the stud, and we're good. All right, now let's take this off. Now we have the downstairs. All right, so let's take a look. So we have a little TV and a couch, a lamp, a couple doors, I mean, uh, windows, another window, you can just peek in, just like, yup. And you come in here, boom, and you got all these uh, little um, places where you can uh, find a ton of parts. little drawers and you've got this little table but um, let's move over here we've got a little um, shelf building a little lamp as well some more drawers to find some parts you can open close now this is the first thing I built um, for this mock this is where I started so the whole concept of like taking parts off wasn't in my mind yet, so I can't like take off anything right here, which kind of sucks because I kind of want to get in here and show you guys everything I built. Of course, put this off. Ton of gray bricks used for this. We can go in here, and then here is another door. We can go in. Find maybe a part or two. And here's a little bookshelf. And here goes down to the basement. The door that goes down to the basement. And then we have the main door, of course. Yep. And then little candles on the side. And little uh, pictures. I mean, I didn't really have anything that cool, but you know, they're there. This pretty much all of it like long video but this took me forever guys so make sure to give me some support uh, if you don't think this mop was very um, good uh, you know hit that dislike button nobody's stopping you but if you did enjoy it be sure to give me a like don't be shy there's like the little um, wire that's on the ground that um, alarms uh, granny that you're down here and here's the little bell so it's a little cool thing I added I didn't really find a better piece but the chain but I think it still works fairly fine it's cool I really liked building this mock this was really fun and uh, um, just comment down below see what you guys want to uh, just comment down below see what you guys want to see next yeah I'm kind of glad I'm done with this mock though. This took me forever. It was fun though. Alright, thanks for watching.